these non-waterproof, grip-lacking, vectaceous, ugly-looking shoes completely fail a checklist of everything that you'd want in a shoe. So how did they make a $650 million brand without running a single advert and change the world in the process? When did you first hear about Tom's? Do you remember which friend it was who told you? For me, let's go back almost a decade. I was walking up the stairs to the Stray Rock offices where I was working as an intern. In this office, there was only enough space for a few desks and one sofa against the sidewall. And there was my boss standing in the middle rehearsing a presentation. My eyes slowly drawn to these interesting looking shoes he was wearing. I wanted to say something cause they stood out, they looked so different. Hey Greg, good morning. Those are some cool looking shoes. Side note, I didn't actually think they were cool, but curiosity took me. He then proceeds to tell me the story of Tom's and I'm like, oh, that's awesome. What a great business. A few minutes later, my manager walks in. Poppy red Tom's adorn her feet, screaming out against the carpet of gray. I simply say to her, oh, hey Susie, You've got those Tom's shoes too. And now she goes ahead and tells me the story again. An encore to that she didn't know I'd already just heard. A sly smirk on the side of Greg's face. But twice, within five minutes, I had two people tell me the story of Tom. Simply by me, in conversation, illuminating their shoes. One for one, when you purchase a pair of Tom's, they will give a pair of new Toms to a child in need. From then on, I started to see Toms everywhere, on the street, at parties, in college. This was just a year or two before the peak of the hipster era. So this kind of thing was like a drug to these people. More and more people joined the hipster craze. Toms, well, they were honey to bears for that crowd. I was told the story again and again, over and over. I'm not even asking now. People are just telling me. In groups, people would just bring it up as I started to become annoyed with hearing it. Word of mouth, the most powerful marketing in the world. We implicitly trust our friends. Their story spread like wildfire. Not because they're helping people, you actually don't care that much. Because otherwise you just donate to charity. No, because you get to tell people a story that I care. And that makes you feel good. I wasn't annoyed, I was hooked. Hooked on a story. I desired a pair. I just didn't like the design or the colours that they had. I was not a hipster. The idea of drinking out of jars when there are perfectly good glasses available still aggravates me to this day. I refuse to drink out of them. But eventually, after going through their site, perusing all of the shoes available, I came across this pair, these simple brown shoes. And I thought I could wear a shoe like this. And so I purchased them and it was almost inevitable that I would. The ugly shoe gives you permission to share that story. As people ask you about these interesting looking shoes and the people who believe in that story, go out and buy a pair too, so they can tell the story as well. They're buying them to make them think and feel that they are a good person, but also so they can belong to and identify with a group of people who cares. Now, I could go around and tell people the story of Tom's too. I would even point out my own shoes just so I could tell people the story. Anytime I saw a stranger on the street or at a party or in college wearing them, I would point at me and be like, look, me too. Like we were belonging to some sort of secret club. I did get quite a few strange looks from these interactions. Uh, perhaps not everybody thought they were so tightly bonded over just owning a pair of shoes as I did. And so, the story spreads. In this case, providing a story for people to tell does more good than just getting them to donate to charity. A contagious story generated more money for people in poverty than begging for donations ever could. And also an added bonus of making a lot of profit while doing so.
I believe there is a lesson we can learn here. If you can facilitate your customers getting to tell the world a story about themselves that makes them feel good or identifies them as someone they desire to be, those people will buy your products simply so they can tell the world, tell other people that story and in doing so, share and spread your brand organically. The most powerful marketing in the world, word of mouth. We implicitly trust our friends. Hey, thanks for watching, I hope you liked that. Follow me on Instagram for Boyd Soy's marketing and branding tips. Subscribe for more and have a fabulous day. Ethan out.